Ultimate used car buying scams. Thinking of buying a used car? Then you're probably like most consumers, afraid and anxious of being ripped off by a car dealer. And let me tell you, your fears are well justified. As I said in our previous new car scam video, consumers in the U.S. lose well over $30 billion each year to car buyer scams perpetrated by car dealers. The good news is that many of these are easily avoidable while others may require a little expert help from someone like us. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, and across the way is the always amazing Elizabeth. Thanks, Kevin. In case you're new here, Kevin and I both worked inside car dealerships, and so we got to experience car dealership bad behavior firsthand. Since then, over the last several years, we've made it our mission to research how car dealers work, and we have documented tons of scams and tactics used throughout the industry. To any car salesman out there who's tempted to say, this is all outdated stuff. Nobody does these things anymore. Well, Kevin, take it away. It cracks me up when a car salesman says stuff like that. First of all, it's great if the dealership they are working at doesn't do this stuff anymore. But with the launch of our hassle-free car buying service, we have daily contact with dealers around the country as we represent car buyers everywhere. We know far more about the entire car industry than any one salesman possibly could know working at one dealership. Even we end up avoiding certain dealers because they turn out to be nothing but con artists. Today we're going to help you know how to identify them. Also, you should know that you can avoid the agony of all these used car buying scams by hiring us to provide you with our hassle-free car buying service. It works for both new and used cars and in any state in the United States. We have the best car buying service by far and it's the greatest value by a long shot. And you're never going to see a bunch of bought and paid for fake reviews posted for what we do either. We'll leave those fake tactics to unethical creators here on YouTube. Of course, not all car dealers are bad, but it can be a difficult task to figure out which ones are truly honest. Our goal today is to expose the tricks used by some of the worst offenders so you don't end up becoming another uninformed victim. $30 billion a year is a lot of lost money, friends. Indeed. A few of these used car scams are similar to the new car scams we just told you about recently, but for the most part, there are many big differences. To help you determine the risk level of some of these used car scams, we have rated them on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest risk. The number we've given each scam reflects how costly it is, how common the occurrence is, and even how likely it is for consumers to fall victim to the scam. As promised, today we're focused on used car scams, but just days ago we did a new car scams edition. Make sure you check that one out too. We're starting out with scams at risk level 4, which is bad enough, but we end up with scams with a risk level of 10. Unbelievable. Yeah. First up at risk level 4 are the dreaded nitrogen-filled tires. Yes, this is the same scam for new cars too. The risk level has dropped down a bit recently because more and more dealers are discovering that informed car buyers are refusing to pay for this kind of nonsense. Thankfully, many of them have stopped it. Unscrupulous dealers have marketed the idea that if they say you fill your tires with pure nitrogen, they will stay inflated for longer and the rubber might degrade slower than if you fill it with plain old air. But air is 78% nitrogen already. And over time, as you top up your tires, they will become richer in nitrogen anyway as the oxygen molecules slowly escape. But there is no chance nitrogen fill would be worth doing for even $20, much less for $400 or even $900 like we've seen for dealers that want to charge that much. At risk level six, masking engine problems. Ooh. This is a very expensive problem, but it doesn't happen real often, thankfully. Yeah. If a used car has engine problems, putting diesel weight oil in the engine can mask the problems temporarily. Diesel oil is thicker than regular oil. Mechanics say they see this frequently enough. And yes, this is just another reason to have a PPI, a pre-purchase inspection, done on a used car. At risk level seven, odometer fraud. Digital odometers, which were thought to be less susceptible to tampering, can be even easier to manipulate. Unscrupulous dealers are reprogramming digital odometers using relatively inexpensive software and devices made for legally recalibrating faulty odometers. If you're not sure if this is real or not, read this report by NHTSA, which estimates that consumers will lose billions of dollars to odometer fraud each year, and up to 1 in 10 used cars sold may have had their odometers tampered with. Compare the mileage on the odometer with the mileage indicated on the vehicle's maintenance records and get a free Carfax odometer check. At risk level 7, Fake certified used cars. Ooh. True certified used cars are only sold through franchise dealers. Mm -hmm. They have reportedly gone through a manufacturer-backed multi-point inspection process and usually come with some sort of extended warranty. Certified used cars come with a price premium, usually at least a thousand bucks over their non-certified counterparts. 
and that's on the low side. This creates an attractive opportunity for unscrupulous car dealers. They figure if they slap a certified sticker on a used car, they can sell it for more, and many do exactly that. This trick is usually pulled off by independent used car lots that are not affiliated with any manufacturer. Only franchise car dealers can sell legitimate certified used cars. Make sure to verify that it's a manufacturer-backed program and not just a dealer certification. For the record here at the Homework Guy, we don't recommend certified cars at all. Not worth the extra money. It's just a used car with an extended warranty. Yep. Sitting at risk level 7, fake lowball prices. This happens when the dealer gives you an extremely low price quote on a used car over the phone and encourages you to shop around to see if anybody else can match it. Nobody will match it, but when you get to the car lot, they say, let me make sure I can get this price approved by the manager. Of course, they can't, so they try to wear you down. Basically, this scam is used primarily just to get you to come into the store. See our video titled, Don't Negotiate, Do This Instead, If You've Been Burned by This Scam. Anytime the price quote sounds fishy or just too good to be true, have them email you a signed purchase order with the car details and a price quote clearly stated. If they try to pull the scam, you'll have their promise in writing and a potential bait-and-switch complaint to file with the state attorney general's office. Also sitting at risk level 7, stealing your trade-in or your down payment. Yeah. As crazy as this sounds, dealers can literally steal your trade-in or down payment with a stroke of a pen or a tap on the keyboard. The dealer simply changes or removes the amount from the car contract. If you actually did the math, you'd see that your money or your trade wasn't there. Happens way too often. Now sitting at risk level 8, title washing. Hiding the history of a vehicle that's been salvaged, usually due to flooding. Title washing is common after major disasters like floods and hurricanes. The title is washed by transferring a salvage title to another state that doesn't recognize the salvaged brand. Texas is one of the states that can do this. Use Carfax and AutoCheck to check the vehicle history. Title washing does not get rid of the computer records of title transfers. Also at risk level 8 are theft protection systems. Same as with new cars, dealers Love to scare you into thinking that your car is going to be stolen the moment you buy it. But (laughs) trust us when we say that not one employee in the dealership will have these bogus theft protection systems installed on their own car. They say the police use these theft systems to find your car if it's ever stolen. That's totally BS. Yeah. Ask any police officer about window etching for an example, and they often have no idea what you're talking about. Yet dealers would have you believe that these systems are so common that they're taught in police academy. It's been several years since we called window etching the scam of the decade, but it still hasn't stopped dealers from still trying to sell it. Then there's curb stoning at risk level 9. Curb stoners are car dealers that pose as private individuals in order to defraud consumers or skirt the FTC rules pertaining to selling used cars. They will post ads in various classified sites such as Craigslist or even Facebook and pretend to be the owner just trying to sell their vehicle. You may be thinking this is harmless, but these curb stoners are not only breaking the law, they are usually selling vehicles with hidden problems that can affect its value and safety. They usually are selling vehicles that no reputable dealer would even touch. Some even go as far as selling a car that's been totaled and had its title registered in another state to hide the fact. First, always make sure to get that vehicle history report. Keep in mind that this isn't foolproof, but it's a good start. You always need to ask to see the seller's driver's license along with the car's title. If the names don't match, friends, you don't want to buy that car. You definitely don't want to buy it. Nope. Sitting at risk level 10, spot delivery scam, the yo-yo financing. The spot delivery scam, also known as yo-yo financing, is a common scam used mostly against car buyers with bad credit. Yeah. It occurs when the dealer leads the car buyer into thinking their financing was approved. They let them take the car home only to call them back a few days later or even weeks later to inform them that the financing fell through and that they need to finance to a different lender, and that's usually at a much higher interest oh, rate. Of course. The majority of victims end up financing at a rate that is 5% higher than what others with the same credit would pay. If the victim had a trade-in, The dealer usually sells it or tells them they sold it, so they're pressured to keep the car. Regardless of your credit worthiness, always have a car loan prearranged before visiting the dealership so you know exactly what kind of rates you qualify for. Never take possession of a vehicle unless the car loan is finalized. Make sure that you see the financing has been approved firsthand. If they ask you to sign a borrowed car agreement, that's a sure sign the financing hasn't been finished yet. Definitely a sure sign. The good news is is that you can easily spot a dealer scam. This begs the question, well, why do dealers do this kind of thing? Well, interestingly, contrary to what many people think, 
Dealers make most of their money on these kinds of scams rather than the sale of the car itself. Sure. The car is simply a product to be sold that unscrupulous dealers find a lot of ways to add tons of other junk and fees to. So, friends, if you never want to miss an upcoming show while you're visiting our website, thehomeworkguy.com, sign up for show notifications directly from us by clicking the yellow button for content notifications. I send out a reminder email for all new shows, which you can check out yourself and also forward to family and friends. For those of you wanting to skip all the nonsense that we talked about today, I look forward to speaking with you directly about our hassle-free car buying service. It's the best there is. It's easy to find at thehomeworkguy.com. Nobody ever regrets going this route. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and the Homework Guy team. God bless you all. Thanks for listening. 